You're listening to Create Wealth Through Franchising, and I'm your host, Kim Daly. In my 20 years as a franchise consultant, I've helped hundreds of people achieve their dreams of building and scaling franchise businesses to create wealth. The interview you're about to hear can also be found on my YouTube channel, where I post new franchising content multiple times per week. Please take a moment to subscribe to the podcast and to my YouTube channel at kimdaily.tv. Now, enjoy the show. Welcome back to Kim Daily TV. Today, my special guest, his name is Joe Delat. He is the president of Home Clean Heroes. Joe, welcome to Kim Daily TV. Kim, thanks. I look forward to being here and meeting with you, so I really look forward to today. I'm Appreciate excited about today as well. I thought it would be kind of fun for you to come on and share a little bit about what makes your brand different. In a crowded cleaning space, how does a franchise differentiate themselves? So when people look at franchising, a common question people might ask is, so what makes that franchise different? Why should I pay that company money to do that when I could just go start a business on my own? And I think the cleaning space is one of those industries where people have those kind of misconceptions. So let's start the conversation right at the juiciest part of it by setting up why would a candidate invest in Home Clean Heroes? What differentiates your cleaning company from all of the other cleaning companies out there? Now, there are, there are a couple of key things that uh, are really unique to us. And I thought what I'd do just to sort of help paint that picture is take you on a little bit of a brand evolution because, you know, Home Clean Heroes is part of Buzz Franchise Brands, a multi-brand franchisor. We're in the home services industry, a high-quality residential cleaning business. But we knew we had to develop something that stood out. This business is time-proven, right? Recurring revenue, loyal customers. Really, to succeed in it, you have to have proven processes and deliver great customer service. So, but you have to be found. You have to be unique. You have to be seen as contemporary. So we, we, we did a lot of, of investigative research into what could make us differentiate from a brand perspective from maids. You know, we didn't want to be known as maids. We thought there was a little bit, you know, of a stigma to that. There was a little bit of, uh, uh, you know, legacy in pink and colors that, you know, made it an old type of an industry. So we wanted to freshen it, first of all. We wanted to be real contemporary, and it's really kind of, ironic and almost kismet the way the brand has developed because we said well you know what we don't want to be maids we want to be heroes in the home we want to give people back their free time and as a woman who pays people to clean her house i would say those people who clean my house are my heroes (laughs) there you go there you go and that was the mission you know this was 2017 2018 when we created the brand this is a little bit different point in time from where we are right now because little did we know that this mission of being heroic because we gave people back their, their free time was going to really become a totally different mission because everything we've gone through, you know, here comes 2020. And now what we're asking our people to do really is heroic. So they are, guess what? You're deemed essential. You are now going in front line of defense. The biggest way to fight COVID early days on, especially we're disinfecting, finding agents, you know, really having the process there to, to get in the house, protect the people, the customers, protect the employees, and be effective in the cleaning. So that was kind of stage number one of heroic evolution for Home Clean Heroes. At the same time, uh, as, as we started to look at, well, what else in our marketplace can we do to resonate for franchisees who we know want to be part of a community? want to be part of giving back to the community. So there's one part in serving your customers, building a business, building loyal customer base. There's another part in building a business in a community that helps support the community that, where we live. So as we started to explore that word heroes a little bit more and expand on it and evolve the brand, we decided to start working with a 20-year legacy um, 501c3 foundation that's called the uh, First Responders Children's Foundation and developed 
a method and a plan within our business model to give back to first responders in the communities where we operate and across the country through every home that we clean. So now, a portion of every home that we clean, a portion of every fee that we collect, goes to, res to uh, support those first responders through the, the Children's Foundation. And it, that is a group that is, I mean, their, their mission is to support the families of first responders who have been impacted in so many ways by catastrophic, catastrophic uh, injury, death, uh, mental health, uh, a lot of the things that are, you know, we don't even think about what our first responders have to go through when they you know, enter crime scenes or enter disaster, you know, recovery operations. So it's, uh, it's, it's a really, really rewarding part of the brand. It's something that, you know, nobody else is positioned to do that. And our brand, right, it just, it put us there. Yeah. So we've, we've evolved into that position and, and I, I see us continuing to evolve with that persona and really that mission-based community support role that our franchisees can play. And they love it. I love it. So as you've developed this mission-based company, um, has that changed the candidate that you're attracting? It has. It has. We just had a meet the team day with a candidate from Houston last week. A very strong candidate we'll probably move forward with. And he specifically came into the program because of his affiliation with first responders and support with first responders. Very attractive to veterans, very attractive to retiring first responders within the community and spouses of. So it's, you know, it, it, it's a great connection for, for those folks. And I've got a little bit of a soft place in my heart. I've got a lot of family in my past who've been and still are uh, members of, of fire departments, police departments, uh, EMTs. So uh, yeah, it's, it's, it's a great connection for yeah. us. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if this franchise sounds like a fit for you, I would love to be your Daily Coach. Email me right now for a totally free consultation at inquire at kimdaily.tv. I'll tell you one other way that, you know, the, the concept has legs for the community as well and our customers. Our, our frontline customers is we implemented a roundup program. So with every home that we clean, every time we clean your home, Kim, when we would come in and do your initial estimate for you, we would say, or your house is X, you know, $120 a, a week to clean or whatever it is. Tell you about our, our Heroes First mission-based program and say, would you like to add a dollar every time you clean to round up that goes directly to our Heroes First program? Great results on that. I mean, it's, you know, a dollar's nothing at, at that time, but over the course of, you know, cleaning every week or every two weeks through the course of the year, really comes up to be a considerable amount of contribution to uh, to the cause. So it's really I love great. It. Who isn't going to want to round up? <laughs> yeah. 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 I love it. So, okay. You know, as a consultant, no one's coming to me going, oh, yeah, show me a cleaning company, <laughs> right? So there are characteristics that I'm looking for in a conversation that would lead me to think of an opportunity like this. For sure, we've identified the mission-based part of what you do. What are some of the other characteristics of your top performing franchise owners or candidates that you're looking for? I'll tell you, this is a people business. So you're building relationships, critical relationships on two fronts. And, and we support you very strongly on both those. One is with the customer, you know, because you're, you're building 10 year relationships with your customers. You want to make sure you understand everything that makes them happy. You want to make sure you record and communicate to your team everything that makes them happy. And you want to be that person who wants to make people happy. So, you know, keen, focus on customer service. The other side is a keen focus on team building and culture building within the organization. Because you know, you know, we all know the, the market that we face in terms of employees and staffing right now. So we can give you all the tools in the world, and we do, and we give you support. In fact, right now I'm in the middle of, I've rolled out a, a, uh, a boost program for all of our franchisees where we contributed to their ability to boost their uh, recruitment advertising to make sure they increase their voice. So support of that from the corporate side. Uh, but you can get them in the door if you don't understand how to treat your employees like adults, 
how to include them and gives them vision into what their role is in their business, how the customers that they're serving aren't just, you know, another house to go out and pick up a check from, but people with real needs and wants that you relate to, then you won't be able to keep people. You won't build that culture. So we build, you know, when you walk into our franchisees uh, meeting rooms and, and uh, prep rooms for their teams, you'll find all around the walls, you'll find every month a new customer uh, when a new customer started. You'll find sad faces when a customer dropped off. You'll find tracking from net promoter scores individually by our, their employees of how well they're doing at making their customers happy. So it, all of that is visualization of the business. So, so you've got to want to build both of those cultures. So that's, that's the people side of it. The business side of it is you know, you know so many concepts, Kim. Uh, this concept is Monday through Friday, 8 to 5 for the most part, 8 to 4 in terms of the hours that you plan to work. Now, we know entrepreneurs and business owners, you're going to work some other hours beyond that too, but you're going to get to control what those hours are. That's the best thing. This business grows quickly. So it's 8 to 5, Monday through Friday. It's very um, predictable in terms of how you put customers on, what the revenue looks like, the tools and the systems that we use, are, we're just, we, we mire ourselves in analytics at Home Clean Heroes. We provide it in a very clear, easy to visualize way for franchisees. So we can tell you the big numbers to hit and how to get to the big numbers and when you're off with the big numbers. Analytical helps, but we can help you. The corporate staff will help you get to the big numbers and understand that because the tools are there. Okay, so let's recap that. So when I'm uh, in a consultation with a candidate, I'm looking for my quality of life junkies, right? People who want to work Monday through Friday, no nights, no weekends, no holidays. People who love people, right? Because you have two customers, employees and customers, right? You got to please everybody here. Um, so we want people who want to serve other people, who want to bring value, who have that servant leadership heart, who have the desire to do good and give back in their community. Anybody out there, if this is resonating with you, right. these are the characteristics that we focus on. So when people come to the daily coach and say, you know, I'm interested in fitness and I I'm like, okay, but I want to know why. I want to know what it is about a fitness business that you think you're interested in because chances are, once I understand what you're really attracted to, we can cast a much wider net around these characteristics and potentially show you an opportunity like this that you wouldn't necessarily raise your hand for, but one that doesn't require the fixed costs of a build out, of a physical space where you have all of those fixed costs every month. I'm assuming, Joe, that this business has relatively low fixed costs. Is that true? It does. I mean, your, your operating expenses are gonna be fairly low and depends on which model, if you, you can actually operate out of your home depending on how much space you have. You can start operating on your home and then expand into a facility, but not a high dollar facility. We're talking a mixed use, you know, warehouse type of an environment where all you need is 400 square foot of office space and someplace to park your vehicles as they grow. And, and one thing I caught that you said, and I, I didn't want to interrupt your flow, you said you're building a long-term relationship 10 years. Does that mean that your average customer, if you're a good owner, will stay with you for 10 years? That means they can't stay with you for 10 years. You'd, you'd like to do that, but your, your average lifespan of a, of a customer will grow as you, as you age, obviously. I have had my house cleaned. I moved here in 2012. I said yes to the cleaning service one time in June of 2012, and they come to my house every Monday morning, bill my credit card, $135. You can do the math. I'm not doing it. At the time of this recording, it's April of 2022. How much money I paid them. But it doesn't matter. It's invaluable to me. <laughs> yes. You and I have had this conversation before because you don't want to have to go find a new cleaning company. You want to have that relationship. It is a long-term relationship. I heard you say that, and I, I was over here thinking it is a, it can be a 10-year relationship, but I just wanted to clarify that point. Another point that I love about this type of business versus, say, like when people are like, oh, Chick-fil-A, you know, is 
This business has the, as you said, predictable revenue. It's repeatable. So you can, you can build, like, you know, that your, you know, your monthly costs are covered by cleaning X number of homes. Right. But then when you start adding two X and three X and four X homes, right. You, you're, you, you can get, grow that bottom line margin. Correct, Joe? Absolutely. And volume is your friend. I tell my franchise that all franchisees that all the time. The more volume you can build, the more flexibility you have in your schedules, the more you can optimize your routes so that you can cut down on your drive time between routes. And the more flexibility you have to move people around when they need to move their schedules around. Because we're, we join people's lives already in progress. And we have to accommodate them. We cannot be so rigid that we can't say, nope, you can't, you can't skip. You know, we're going to be there no matter what. Well, and Kim, you, know, you mentioned early on, we were talking here about marketing and about the you know, differentiation from a brand perspective. But the other part about marketing that we know from the experience of all of the franchisees that Buzz Franchise Brands has launched into business over the course of the last 10 years, that one of the biggest problems that can occur is they'll pull back too much on marketing. They won't market their business, they won't grow their business, and they never build the volume, they never build the scale, they never build the efficiency, and they won't succeed. So part of our business model is really to e- execute the mark, the key marketing components, direct mail, digital marketing, all of their online website development, all of their SEO for them as part of their, of their franchise uh, partnership with us. Hey, Daily Coach fans, if you're inspired by this conversation, I invite you to email me right now to explore this franchise opportunity. My email is inquire at kimdaily.tv. It's arguably the differentiator between franchises and mom and pops, right? Is that they will require you to advertise. And sometimes candidates are like, oh, how does this simple business, you know, get off charging so much money to start the business? I'm like, look, they're not charging anything. That's what it actually costs. If you want to be the CEO who's going to build a successful business working on it, not in it, right? You're not the one dragging the vacuum across my rug. You are the leader leading teams of people who go and clean, inspiring and motivating those teams, managing the KPIs, maybe out in the field meeting new customers, signing them up, but you're not doing the hands-on work. That's what it actually costs. I think just people in general uh, don't understand how expensive advertising is. But look, it's money or time. That's what I tell all my candidates. Either you're out hustling, driving sales, or you're spending money marketing. It's one or the other, guys. You you can't have it like where I don't want to spend money marketing, but I don't want to be out cold calling either. It's, it's always money for time, always. That's another component of it too, is because we like to complete that cycle, that marketing cycle of life. So... We have a national call center that all of the new leads flow to. That call center closes the leads either as in-home estimates or or, uh, sales and puts them right on the franchisee's calendar. So there's nothing to do as turnkey. The calendars are integrated right with their field management software system. So we try to take as much of that, you know, clunky learning curve out of the, the picture as much so you can really hit the ground running building your business. Did you hear that, guys? So they're 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 helping you to spend your money, getting that phone to ring, and then answering the phone for you. So there's consistency and in that at first impression, right? You're not trying to train somebody sitting at a desk and then having to even pay for an office with an admin person. You have the parent back end organization doing all of that for you because you're buying a protected territory of zip codes. They can field that call back to your protected territory via the zip code. Put that new customer into your into your day's calendar for you to then go out and do an estimate. I mean, guys, that's what I'm talking about when we're thinking about being an executive owner who gets to work on their business rather than in their business. It's these type of requirements, marketing dollars that separate a business that goes on and you can build a multi-million dollar cleaning company versus one where you can't figure out how to manage, you know, 40 homes without having to be the person cleaning the home. So if you are out there and you're inspired by this conversation, you love the characteristics we've outlined today, but maybe you never would have thought about a cleaning company. I have to say, Joe's right. Like this is a prime market for cleaning because everybody, I don't care who you are, everybody in the world is thinking about 
keeping their environment cleaner and safer for their family. So this is a great opportunity. And now with Home Clean Heroes mission, you have the opportunity to just feel proud to wear that shirt in your community, to be the owner of that business who gets to give back to the community. Joe mentioned that Home Clean Heroes is part of a bigger company called Buzz Franchise Brands. And Buzz Franchise Brands is um, led by an amazing uh, team who has built and sold off a very, very big franchise into private equity. So we look at Home Clean Heroes as being sort of the pioneer or emerging brand with only 10 or so franchise locations. The flip side of that is there's wide open territory across the country, right, for you, the listener, to come in and be able to own your backyard. But we're still not considering this as like a pioneering opportunity because the people behind the brand have the experience. They've built other franchise brands. They understand franchise development. They understand how to build and support the infrastructure so that as they grow, the franchise won't implode. Right, Joe? Anything anything else you want to add about Buzz Franchise Brands and the amazingness of Kevin Wilson, who, by the way, has been a guest here on Kim Daily TV? <laughs> uh, most of the uh, presidents from our brands have been, and, and Kevin, I know, is a good friend of yours. Uh, so uh, he's an amazing man to be around, and he's the first, per- first person to meet with every franchisee from every brand that comes through the door incredible set of core values that he and the leadership team built for us and uh, for all the brands and all the franchisees. And he's just a visionary person that uh, everyone likes to be around. And we'll end it on that note. You know, franchising is an industry of people helping people. And I am blessed to work with some of the most amazing people like Joe and Kevin in the franchise industry who genuinely have your best interest at heart. It has to feel like a win-win. This is a mutual evaluation process. They want to award franchise licenses to people that have the skill sets, that have the heart, that have the financial capability to go on and live the life of their dreams. They're not in it to just sell you a franchise and not care about your success. Nothing that we've talked about today gives anybody out there the feeling that this guy does not care about your success with all of the back-end systems that they've created. So if this story has inspired you and you would love to learn more about the Home Clean Heroes opportunity, I would encourage you to follow the email on the screen below and reach out directly to me. I'll get you pre-qualified. I'm going to talk to you a little bit before I send you back to Home Clean Heroes. We'll make sure the territory that you live in is wide open and available and meets the demographic requirements for this franchise. And I'll get you right over to Joe's team so then his team can take it from there. How does that sound, Joe? Perfect. Perfect. That's why we're here. Appreciate it. Thanks, Kim. Thank you for being my special guest today on Kim Daily TV. Well, thanks for having me. Enjoyed it much. Until next time, don't forget that my name is Kim Daly and I want to be your daily coach. If you found this inspiring, please contact me at inquire at kimdaily.tv. My consulting services are totally free to you. Again, that email is inquire at kimdaily.tv. I can't wait to hear from you.